Well, hello there, everybody. Agrippa Maxenius here with another Civil War II video. We are going to continue our attacks here in Virginia. So far, we've been doing okay with this new plan, but we're really trying to see what happens when Beauregard tries to move up there um, to where Harper's Ferry is. Now, uh, somebody was actually, I believe it was um, See Them's Let's See Them, uh, who was trying to show me how to make army stacks, and I'm still having trouble figuring this thing out, which is really annoying, because I know that these stacks could be a lot stronger than they are now, um, but I'm just not figuring this out one bit. So I'm going to have to uh, go over the game manual, which is quite complex, and see what happens. Um, anyway, we're going to try to continue here, and uh, of course engage at Harper's Ferry. We don't want to lose Winchester, but it's a possible uh, scenario here. So I'm actually moving quite a few men up to uh, Fallmouth, and I want them to hang out in Fallmouth, Virginia, and just kind of wait for the enemy to start approaching. We're going to keep sending these guys through, just uh, damaging the enemy uh, supply lines, etc. And we've got Polk down here, fresh, ready to go. And it might not be a bad idea to go ahead and get to Chester and hang out in Chester. Wait with uh, Felix Zollicoffer, of course, and engage any uh, Union units we may find. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and put them on an attack formation. And I'm hoping we have a depot there. If not, we'll certainly bring some uh, some supplies there as soon as possible. Okay, we've got some New Orleans brigades here. These are our volunteers that we actually got last turn. So I'm going to try to bring them to all the way to Virginia. It's going to take them forever to get here, so let's use the railway system. And look at that. 245 days turned into 38 days. Thank you, railroad. So, yo, 38 days on a train would really suck. Um, let's take a look here in Savannah, Georgia, see if there's anything uh, going. Nope. Pretty much looks like we're done, although we do have a nice little naval squadron here. I'm going to go ahead and send them out. Why the hell not? Let's go on a little trip, and I'll send them over here to Fort Fisher near Wilmington. I think we already played our cards, but just in case, yeah, we definitely played them. I could also build defensive works here in Manassas, although we're not going to be staying in Manassas for very long. Some more arsenals. That's just going to give us more war supplies, so we really need war supplies in this particular campaign. Um, and we're going to get some taxes as well why the hell not and some arsenals and coastal cities and let's go ahead and end our turn hope for the best my friends uh hope for victory of course now if that's a problem there we go Nice, a nice Confederate victory there, guys. No doubts about it. And General Johnson managed to wipe out Thomas Gruder's men. 1,538. I like those shots. Beautiful. Polk won in Chester, guys. I knew he would, but it's still good to hear. Make sure that they don't. We're simply not going to accept it. Now, these guys are going to lead the battle into St. Louis. And this is going to be a, a, a tough battle, no, without without a doubt. We're going to build a depot here. And uh, Zollicoffer can get rid of this guy right here. I'm actually going to just keep them in defensive for an information for now. And as you can see, a lot of these units are locked. But they will eventually unlock. And that's one thing we did uh, figure out. We can actually see right here when they're going to unlock. Uh, permanently fixed in the region, but will be unfixed if attacked, understood. So some of these will never unlock. They're just basically garrison units, which I can understand. What about General Robert E. Lee? Permanently fixed? Wow, that's interesting. So maybe he just acts as an army uh, general, sort of a head, I'm, I'm assuming. That is a bit strange, but I hope that he does eventually unlock. If not, he's probably just providing morale support. Uh, to all the men over here. Now, over, as we see, Albert Johnston just arrived, and he's got a pretty nice little army. I'd like to bring some more units into that army, though, so we're going to probably be bringing some guys up here. Probably put this guy into the army. Bring some men up here from Richmond, if there are any men willing to fight. And I don't think there are right now. Everybody also suggested we go ahead and just purchase units. This is probably a better idea than... Um, having to uh, basically only get units via recruitment. So we are going to get some uh, volunteers right now, and I think these volunteers are locked once again. Um, they're basically just defensive units make sure that the enemy doesn't trespass and cause any problems, and I think that that's pretty useful, actually. Oh, don't tell me we are out of money. That is unacceptable. 
or don't have sufficient. Well, that's ridiculous. Show so surely is ridiculous. Well, I guess I won't do anything about it. Let's throw a demonstration over here in Annapolis, um, and uh, let's see what else we can do. And doing a runner, try to force some runners uh, to tr only transport badly needed materials for the war effort. All right, you know what? We'll try this because I want to make sure that we do have as much as we need. Um, as you can see right now, uh, Beauregard is going to be attacking into Harper's Ferry. This is going to be a truly epic battle. Um, not so epic if we lose, of course, but epic nonetheless. All right, Little Rock, Arkansas. We got a lot of generals over here, but just nowhere to really put these guys. Go to Fort Wayne and then let's go ahead and end our turn my friends and hope for a victory for the Confederacy I want to see right now the regions see who's controlling these regions wait wait a minute it's not the right one there we go all right not bad over here we have not much had much um, luck taking James City and that's because of Fort Monroe I don't like having them behind us but they pose a little threat I don't I don't think they're gonna attack let's end the turn Beauregard do something good for us here please Okay, a stalemate at Rolla, and this was an area where we have Benjamin McCullough. He's actually got a pretty large army, um, but he's in a pretty unimportant area. Nonetheless, people are still there try fighting over it, and uh, we're going to continue fighting. Okay, come on. Of course, we're going to continue fighting, and that is a Confederate victory at the Battle of Harper's Ferry, guys, crushing Ambrose Burnside. 14,000 men in that army as well, um, and that is definitely going to help. Let's hope we can con continue that. The enemy's going to send reinforcement to you quickly and hopefully build a depot. I don't think we're going to be able to build a depot in time, but I'm not moving this army from here. No way. I might even bring Johnston up to uh, assist, or I might bring uh, also not just Johnston, but uh, wait a minute, Johnston, Johnston. It's Johnston and Johnston. This Wait a minute. Okay, this is Albert Johnston. And this is Joseph Johnston, the two Johnstons. Well, we're going to send the two Johnstons north for sure to assist here. We're about to get a pretty nice victory. I can already see that. So I'm moving full, definitely far north. And over here, ah, form army. I think we're figuring this out slowly but surely. So I'm not going to form an army yet. I'm going to go ahead and end this turn. Um, or not end the turn, but end this particular uh, Let's Play here. Of course, when we come back, I'll have these armies in better formation, but I think we're doing pretty well so far. If we can send some reinforcements up north, maybe we'll actually send this army over here to the east to Fairfax to cut off any possible attacks across the river. Uh, any attack across the river by them is going to be devastating. Uh, I think that'll probably work out, but we'll have to see. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and glory to the south.